it's Bucky with Top Dollar Home Offer. I thank you guys for joining me here today. We're walking through the book that we put together for you, talking about real estate investing. This is a mini series of reading this actual book. So there'll be several videos after this, but we wanted to not only be able to provide this hard copy book cover if you wanted to go to our website and purchase it there, or if you wanted to listen to the audio version read by myself, Bucky. Cordray at Top Dollar Home Offer. You can listen to the whole audio book here free on YouTube. We love YouTube and it makes it easy for you guys to access and it's just a great, great service out there. So let's get on to our book here. We are in the next section called Real Estate Investing, full time or part time. What does that mean? Unless you have a lot of money up front, don't think you'll be able to abruptly quit your full-time job for real estate investing. Real estate investing, it's, it's important to have your financial backup because if you don't, you can get yourself in a deep financial hole. So oftentimes people are like, oh, you don't have to have any money to get into real estate. And you know, there's certain areas you don't, but if you're trying to go full-time into this, it's, it's not easy, I guess you could say. So unless you have a lot of money set aside and, and you're ready to just buy a lot of properties and, and can wait for your cash flow, in other words. There's different strategies, but plus you don't know how long it'll take for you to get your first real estate deal. I've talked to some people that they've spent years trying to find their first deal, which that shouldn't be the case. I mean, you should be able to buy a house within the next 30, 45 days, but Will that one house give you or replace your current income and what you're used to having? So, you know, we, we often continue to have different um, areas that we generate cash so we can continue to invest and expand. So real estate is just one of our companies that we do to generate income for ourselves. It may take or it could take several months before you get that prime piece of real estate that you've been looking for. So what do you do? Start out part-time with real estate investing. That way you don't create a burden for yourself and that can drive you to insanity. There's so many people out there that jump in both feet, which is fine, but you can run into issues when you're just trying to figure things out which way is left, which way is right. It's a different industry, different terminologies. It's not necessarily learning a whole new language, but there is a lot of different terms and methods and parts of real estate. So looking for property use as a real estate investment takes some research and time. And the best way to alleviate a lot of those hiccups is to find a good mentor that can work with you or coach you. You'll have to conduct due diligence, meaning to make sure that the property is what it claims to be in the real estate listing. Even though that with the internet, you can look at real estate properties online, you still need to go and inspect and inspect it yourself and check out for yourself. A photo tells a story, but it tells whatever story the photographer wants to portray. So you may see like, a beautiful photo of this house and you realize, oh my goodness, this was depicting it in its best form and it may not be in its best form. Going part-time is the wise way to go. You only have to expend so much energy per day or however many times you look for rental properties each week, if that's the route that you're choosing to do. In the meantime, you'll still have your full-time job and bringing in regular income, right? Most people that get into real estate started on the side and turn it into a full-time career. Or they would continue to do what they do and just continue to invest because real estate can be full-time. It can be part-time. You can do, make it full-time with another full-time uh, career if you need to. It's really up to you. So everybody has the same amount of hours in a day. It's depending on how much of those hours that you want to work and how you can leverage other people to do that work for you to create more wealth for yourself. We are not limited by anything but our own imagination. There are times you may hit a jackpot and you find a rental property right off the bat. It is 
only for a brief time. That tenant may move out on you or something else could happen. I mean, it's real estate. There's property, there's weather, there's storms, there's setbacks, there's economy crashes. There's all these different things that can affect your passive income from real estate. Until you can get your passive income with your real estate portfolio greater than what you're spending now means passive income. So you're just, you're cash flow free. So if you have, let's say 10 rental properties and you're able to get $500 a month in cash flow, meaning that's free money above all your expenses. So 500 times 10 is $5,000. So if your expenses to live in your home and your food, you know, whatever all those expenses are, is less than $5,000, then you are financially free, meaning you have more passive income coming in than you do going out. And that's to ensure that you're accounting for any future expenditures on those properties. You can't leverage what you're going to be putting back in savings for repairs and things like that. So keep that in mind when you're looking at passive income and replacing your full-time income with real estate. Because there is some gaps and flows, right? You may go two months without buying a property. You may go, you know, buy one every four weeks, or you might buy one every week for a while. But things change. I mean, deals, it, it's, like, it's like a crock pot. You throw everything in there and, you, and it just cooks and cooks and cooks, and you were able to pull some out and get some deals every now and then. Um, but it just, it, it takes money to find deals too. So all those things, if you can stay in your full-time job for a while until you can create greater passive income than what you're currently making, that would be my suggestion. Then you, you know, if it basically what happens if something bad happens in your property, then you would go back to square one with a rental property with no renters. And then you're having to make the payment unless you pay it in cash or that, that cash return that you were accounting for is not there. So however you want to look at it, um, you know, you accounted for occupancy rates and things like that and repairs, all those things that cost you when a tenant moves in and out. If a mortgage with this property, you'll have to pay monthly payments on the notes, utility bills and other miscellaneous, right? So we're heading into winter right now, or we're in winter right now, and, you know, if the heat isn't on, your pipes could freeze and burst and cause big problems. So that's why it's so crucial, critical to have a financial backup plan and have money to show for it. Meaning having a net negative cash flow on a rental property is not a good thing to have. Taking your time acquiring real estate investment is the key. They're never in short supply. There's always an area where you're able to find something to your liking. Doing this part-time allows you to test the water to see what's best for you. You want to be sure that this is what you want. In the beginning, real estate investing can be rather time consuming. You have to make sure that you're up for the challenge. Stay tuned for our next video. We're going to talk about having someone besides yourself look at the property. Again, Bucky with Top Dollar Home Offer. We buy houses, Tulsa. If you're a homeowner that says, I need to sell my house fast, we can help. Give us a call, 918-212-5442. Or if you're interested in getting in real estate investing, we do have a awesome program that we offer to uh, first-time real estate investors or if you're more advanced we have a done-for-you marketing program that puts leads into your inbox and set appointments so we'll be releasing some more information on that soon here but keep in mind this is for people that are just interested in getting into real estate investing and want to understand what are all the ins and outs and we'll go deeper into our advanced real estate investing strategies with those that may want to partner with this in that aspect. Again, we buy houses Tulsa. If you need to sell your house fast or say, hey, I need to sell my house fast, give us a call. 918-212-5442.